We're going to create a profile app. So we're going to start the new Android Studio project and I'm going to call it Personal Profile. And I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to leave the default minimum SDK and choose for phone and tablets. I'm going to hit Next. And I'm going to choose an empty activity and I'm going to hit next. It'll create a main activity with the layout name of activity main. We want to ensure that we are uh, leaving the defaults here and we're going to select finish. So I'm going to open up the project window. I'm going to take this out to full screen. So let's take a quick tour of what we have here. We've got the activity main XML. We can look at that in either design or text view. It's created by an XML file, but we're actually going to start creating assets for it before we start working with it. So let's work on setting up our assets. In the app project hierarchy here, you'll see that we have manifests. The Android manifest lists everything that's part of our app. We will ensure things are happening, but at this point we're not going to make changes in here. They'll happen automatically. We have a Java file, which we can program our Java, which we will do once we add another activity. We'll have to add Java to get to it. So that's where we'll program our Java. And then we have our resources file. In our resources file we have Drawable resources, which is currently empty, Layout, which is our activity main XML, we have our MIP map, which we aren't going to get into at this time. We'll talk about it at a later time. And we have our values. And our values are colors, strings, and styles. Right now, we're just worried about the strings. So open up the strings.xml file from the values folder in the resources folder. And you can close anything else that is open on the top. We'll open them later when we need them. So we're just going to open up strings XML. By default, we have our app name, which is called personal profile. And I'm going to go ahead and put a space between that because that's what I want to appear at the top of the page. Be aware that this is not a Java file. This is an XML file. So the naming standards are different. When we're in Java, we're going to use Camelback notation. When we're in an XML file, all our names will be lowercase separated by underscores with no capitalization. So we will not be using Camelback notation inside of our XML files. But we're going to add several strings. I'm going to add a string called text header. And I want to make sure I do this correctly. Name equals text header and when you close your bracket this is like HTML you have to have the opening and closing tags it will automatically put in the closing tag for you and just like any other HTML we're going to put the text that we want to appear on the screen in there so I'm just gonna put in Mary it does not know how to spell my name so I can go to spelling and I can save Mary to the dictionary so if you're using a word it doesn't know, you can add that. And you can work almost like you do in Emmet, where you can just put in string and hit tab, and then put in name equals. And the next one I'm going to have is a txt caption, which I will use for my alt tag for my image. And it will say Mary and Holly Bear my dog. And then I'm going to add a string name equals and this one is going to have information for my button. So it's going to be btn view. That will be the name of my button. And for my button view, I'm going to have it say view profile. 
And then I'm going to have one more longer string. And that's going to be TXT bio. And it'll have a short biography and I'll fast forward while I type through this. And that's pretty much what we need to add at this point. These, it's best practice to do all of the text that you're going to need in your app in this one file. You don't have to do it this way. You can type the tracks directly, but this is what is considered to be the best practice because then all of our strings are in one place where if we need to go f through and edit anything, we don't know, need to go through each screen of our app finding things. And again, you may wish to go through and add things that doesn't know how to spell if you're sure they're correct. But you do definitely want to check your spelling and make sure that everything's there. Now the next thing I'm going to need to add is an image. I'm going to add the images to my drawable file. And I have the image that I want to use out on my desk book, desktop. And it's here, but it's not named correctly for what um, Android wants. So I'm going to have to rename this before I use it. You need to not use hyphens in your names. It will actually completely break your program. So I'm going to rename it Mary Bear with an underscore, which is an approved format for file names. And then I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to use OK. And my other option would have been just to use a new name there. So now you can see I can open my drawable and I see that I have my Mary Bear resource. So get your resources set up, find an image that you want to use for your profile, add it into the drawable folder inside the resources, make sure it's named with all lowercase letters and underscores if you have multiple words. Make sure that you have your strings and you should have an app name, a text header, and this is what's going to appear on the top of the, of the pages. A text caption, that's going to be our alt tag for our image. A button view, this will be on our button and then a bio that will appear on our second page. Get that all set up then come back to the next video.